This lady's claiming her sushi is authentic Japanese food, but the comments don't seem to agree. You got mud on your face, big displace, kicking a can on over the place. We will, we will rock you. Hey there, let's take a look at Japanese culture through the lens of memes. A Yakuza themed cafe opened up in Nagoya last year. It's called Ninkyo Cafe. Ninkyo means chivalry, so you might wonder why they'd call it that. Nah, Ninkyo means Yakuza. Yakuza like to think of themselves as a chivalrous organization, though. Here's some of the food and drink you can get at the cafe. You can buy a sweets set for 893 yen. Why 893? Well, from my video about how numbers replace words in Japanese, 893. 893 means Yakuza. Super interestingly, the word Yakuza actually comes from the number 893 and not the other way around. There's two rooms in the cafe. The cafe room has free entry, obviously, but there's also the office room. It costs, again, 893 yen for a table in the office room. You can pay another 893 yen on top of that to sit in the wakagashi daseki, the second in command's chair, or you can even round your total up to 8,930 yen to sit in the boss's chair. The boss's chair has a nice ashtray, but the cafe is non-smoking, so you can't use it. Check out what's in the drawer, too. Unfortunately, Ninkyo Cafe closed in February of this year. But according to their Twitter account, it looks like they're going to try opening a Yakuza-themed hotel next. This woman tells a great story about some problems she had with her fiancé. To understand it, you'll need to know a few things. 1. Cicadas are very, very common in Japan, especially in summer. If you watch anime, you've probably heard cicadas in the background all the time. 2. In Japanese, most animals' cries have set onomatopoeia. Cicadas is mean, 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 mean. I was looking on YouTube for an example of a cicada onomatopoeia. And I found this. It's a 7 hour, 15 minute long VTuber endurance stream where all she does is a cicada impression for the whole time. The way she accidentally laughs is actually kind of cute. So here's the story. Summer reminds me of this. I once created a cicada Twitter account. Yes, a cicada account, tweeting endlessly just mean, mean, lol, eventually being joined by another cicada account who tweeted only mean, mean, lol. As we were happily chirping along together, my husband found out and we got into a massive fight that ended up with him going back to his parents' house. Speaking to strangers is, according to him, cheating an affair. Me creating the cicada account was betrayal because I had a desire to cheat even though we were only tweeting mean, mean at each other. I didn't even know the gender of the other person in the first place. When I was smiling and tweeting mean, mean, he asked me, what are you doing? To which I excitedly replied, there's another cicada out there. He recoiled in anger. Why do you have to do this kind of stuff? I can't believe it. You need to understand that by continuing to do things like this, it becomes harder to trust you. I replied, oh, do you hate cicadas? To which he got even angrier at me, saying, Don't mock me! Even after the story spread and we got engaged, one day upon finding I had male followers on Twitter and male friends online, he started crying, saying, I don't know what I can believe about you anymore, and went back to his parents' house. Then we called off the engagement. I told him it doesn't matter who I talk to, and if I want to be a cicada or a dog on Twitter, it doesn't inconvenience him, so leave it alone. And that's where it ended. He's insane, huh? Some people asked some questions in the replies that she addressed. You called off the engagement, but he's your husband now? He apologized for the cicada event, so I forgave him and married him. Your husband is crazy! 
Yeah, he's an extraordinarily jealous person. I don't really mind it, so we get by. The impact of a Cicada account is so strong that I can't process the rest of the story. True that. Next. A host club is a place where women go and pay guys to treat them nicely, pour their drinks, light their cigarette, compliment them, etc. A lot of guys that work as hosts have weird hair like this. Specifically, this host's haircut was trending for looking exactly like fireworks. The host guy himself showed up in the comments saying the photo is over 10 years old and that, by the way, the reason he's eating chocolate in the picture is because his birthday is on Valentine's Day. This one is from 2013, but it's been going around on Twitter recently. With more than 50,000 likes, it shows Yo Sushi's marketing manager, Katie Crossfield, showing off their crab and mango sushi, which is fine so far, except that the bottom picture's caption has her saying, our restaurant's food is authentic Japanese, and that the price is six pounds, which was around 940 yen at the time. To start, sushi at a conveyor belt restaurant like this in Japan would generally be between 100 and 300 yen, so like, less than a third of the price. Secondly, this is not authentic at all. Here are some funny replies. This one's mocking us uncultured foreigners. It says, putting anything on rice equals Japanese food. This one says, go wash out your brain. 1924, an Italian American is tortured by having pineapple placed on pizza. It might be sushi, but it's not Japanese food. It might taste good, but it's definitely not Japanese food. Two different people asked, what is that on top, a fly? Here's a good counter though. As a Mexican, hearing Japanese people call these tacos makes me feel the same way. This has been part three of my Japanese meme series. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you haven't seen the other two, check out the playlist I made of them on the right. I've made a Discord for our community. If you're interested in joining, I've put a link in the description. And yeah, I still really want my silver play button. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Thank you very much. See you next time. By the way, sorry, no personal story this time. I think I've gotten sick while editing this video. Good thing I did all the recording before I got sick. Um, next time, thanks for your patience.